What's up guys, this is Leviathan Kraken here, and I'm happy to say yeah. that the Subnautica modding scene is evolving. We have here a new in-game mod manager brought to you by Lee23. Now this mod manager has several cool features. I'm going to show you what all it can do, how to use it, and how to install it step by step. So let's get started. So as you can see, there is a mod manager option right here, and that's pretty cool. So now we're, we're going to start off with the news. Now this will keep you up to date with any changes that Lee23 might make to the mod, or they might even possibly put some modica.xyz news on here, I'm not sure. Now we go over to install. Now this, of course, it has all the instructions laid out for you, but at the end of this video I'm going to show you guys how to do everything step by step, so don't, don't panic. But, you know, pretty much the way it works, for the most part, is you, you can open your mods download folder. And so this is not to be confused with your plugin folder. This is where you can just download the, the file as is. You don't have to unzip it or anything, and you just drag it into here. And then once you get that done, then you're going to be in clicking this to install the mods. And then after you do that or make any kind of changes, whether you're managing, then it will sh a button will pop up that you will reset the, the, the game so that way it'll save your changes and it says right here if you forcefully close Subnautica it the changes will not be applied so you have to make sure you click that button and then reset your game now if you go over to manage now this is pretty cool this is you know kind of like Vortex other mod managers if you're familiar with them is uh, you can pretty much click on something and you can just disable it you know click enable disable if you, you know if you're like me and you you know have tons and tons of mods installed but you have a playthrough that you want to do and you want to go with maybe a certain custom theme then you can go in and just manually disable and you know okay now this is something you're going to run into there are some mods such as no PDA display or let's see configuration manager that has to be manually uninstalled but that's just because of the fact that they're connected to you know the you know your other mods so you definitely will have to do that manually but fortunately you're not going to really run into that issue very often but you know if you want to do a custom playthrough then you can go through here enable that disable that however you want to do it i think it's just so much easier that way you're not going to your plugins folder and you're not dragging the mods folders in and out manually constantly you know if you get bored of this mod you have to go in and drag it out and this and that and you don't have to worry about that so this makes it a lot easier so finally we have here download and this is awesome this is so cool guys now this is a direct link to the Subnautica.xyz website we have here a you know a picture and a little description of well pretty much all the mods on the site and you can go to, you can search one from here, in-game, you can click on the most popular, you can look at the most recently updated ones, uh, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, if you want toilet paper in your game, you can get that too, <laughs> And but what's really cool is you can also check for updates, you know, so the existing mods that you have on there already, you click that and it'll let you know if any of the mods you have need to be updated and okay so my no PDA delay mod needs to be updated so now if you can't download it directly from here this is still going to take you to their website so what you'll have to do is you know you go on here you click on here and you download it and then you'll go back to install and then you will install it from here and I'll show you how to do all that but guys this is this is changing everything game changing and in game mod manager for Subnautica. How awesome is that? Alright, so here we are. I just downloaded the Subnautica mod manager and it's still in the zip file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it over into and you're gonna have to go to this Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Subnautica, Bepinex plugins. Just like that. And you're gonna drag it over just like you are installing a mod, you know, and if you have no mods installed yet, then I highly suggest looking at my other video how to install um, mods on the 2.0 Subnautica version step-by-step. Step. That way you'll know how to get all this set up. 
So, but this is the, probably the last time you're ever gonna have to do it in this way, now that you have the mod manager. So you're gonna drag this over. All right, so now that's over and that's installed. Now, there's one thing I did wanna point out. Now, when I first installed this, I run Norton Antivirus, and I took a screenshot of it, what happened. Now, you, there are two files in the mod manager that what they do is they kind of move the files over from one folder to the next. And Norton Antivirus did not like that. <laughs> it thought that this was a threat. Now, I have, you know, screenshots of confirmation from Lee23 that this is absolutely no threat. He said you can use DNSpy to look at the source code if you really feel like, you know, if you feel unsafe downloading those on your computer, which I understand. But the reason why it was flagged is because it moves files from one folder to the next back and forth whenever you're enabling or disabling a mod. So that's why it didn't like that. So what I had to do is I had to go in and I had to click restore on the Norton antivirus and that restored it. So hopefully you won't run into this issue. Um, if you, you know, if you have a very uh, strict antivirus program, you might, but you'll have to restore the files through your antivirus software or this will not work. So I just want to be very clear with that. So, okay, we have Mod Manager on here. Now let's get Subnautica opened. All right, so as you can see, Mod Manager is there. So let's say that I want to download a mod. So let's go to download. And <laughs> should we install the toilet paper? Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. No, no, I don't want to do that. Um, Okay, music fading out fix. I don't have that one. So let's download that one. Let's click on the link. Okay, and if you're unfamiliar with submodica.xyz, this is uh, the new new place to go for Subnautica mods. Okay, so now we're going to be clicking on download links, current version. It says this mod depends on Bepinex. Well, duh, we have that already. So continue to my download. Open the mod downloads folder. And then, you know, I don't know if you're using Windows 11 or not, but I have an option to have an extra tab right here. So I can go to downloads, music fading out, and I can just drag that over here just like that, zipped, you don't have to worry about it. Install all mods, one file detected. Do you want to install all these mods? Yes. Okay, one installed, no updated, zero failed installations, that's good. A game restart is required, begin now, yes. So that backed me out, and it's basically automatically resetting the game. Okay, and now we should have, let's see if it shows up on here. I don't. I think that's kind of like an automatic mod. There's not really any way to config that, but we can go to Mod Manager and we can make sure, there we go, Music Fading Out Fix enabled. So there you go. And so that's it. That's how you install it, and that makes things so much easier, guys. So anyway, is this... Mod Manager was brought to us by Lee23. If you're unfamiliar with Lee23 as part of the Return of the Ancients or Gargantuan Leviathan team, he also created the Bloop and the De-Extinction. So he said that his main focus recently has been to get this Mod Manager among other modding tools that he's been working on finished first, so that way working on the new update 2.0 will be easier from here on out. And as he mentions here in the news, He's lost a lot of sleep over this project, <laughs> so please give it as much feedback as you can. And anyways, don't forget to thank him for this awesome advancement in the modding scene. Peace out, guys.